Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, with yet another CGRB pouch from Travis, a.k.a. Low Country Hillbilly. I'm pretty sure that's who this is. If it's not, future me fix it. Thank you. Uh, we've already unboxed and checked out the Fireball, the Diva Fireball, and the Tonto PM2. What else? What else could he have in store? I don't know. He doesn't tell me. I like things to be a surprise. But we're going to find out together right now. <laughs> right Travis what do you got for me pal what do you got for me <gasps> Ooh, ah god I wish I had my original god, god. this is the quiet carry large drift and it is larger uh yeah it's been a while since I had a quiet carry on the channel oh hell yes um all in all the same knife just a little bit longer and a little bit taller that's about it really uh, the original Quiet Carry Drift I owned for about a year. Um, I had some issues with it. It, you know, it just took me too long to break it in and get it get it sharpened and all that stuff. Out of the box, it wasn't what I wanted it to be for three hundred plus dollars. Um, so I sold it. I do miss it. I do regret it. Um, but uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if they've gotten better. This is a full titanium build. Vanax super clean on the blade. Thumb studs. Wire deep carry clip. Little guy. Uh, it is not reversible. Super thin. Crazy thin in profile here. Uh, we do have the nice texturing on the show side, which if I ever get another quiet carry, I'll get the textured one. The one I had was smooth on both sides, and it was slippery as an eel. If you had any kind of moisture on your hands at all, that bitch, you're going to throw that thing across the room. It was just as uh, slippery as it gets. Um, size comparison, it's still not a huge knife. Just goes to show how small the original was. Um, just right in between these two, right in between the PM2 and the pair of three, just a hair bigger than the pair of three, so, but way thinner than both, way thinner and lighter. Let's pop her open. Boom. Great detent right off the rip. Super uber, damn near full flat grind on that Vanax. Crazy stupid thin blade stock, like obnoxiously thin. Um, really nice toothy jimping, fine tooth jimping, like really grippy. Uh... Got the four dots there. Kind of quite carries calling card. Lockup, just like mine, is crazy. Look at that. Look at this lockup. Freaking 80%. Jesus Christ. Lockup is, however, very solid. Very solid. I'm pretty sure the um, the lock bar inserts LC200N. The whole point of these knives is to be, like, completely water resistant, rust resistant. And uh, it seems to me they're doing a great job. Yeah. Little backspacer back here, by the way. Little lanyard hole. Uh, good looking thing. Open size comparison. It is a good looking knife. It's nothing new and, like, mind-blowing. It's just really well done. Minimal. Clean. Uh, opened up. Yeah, again, right in between these two opened. Really broad blade on it, though. Crazy broad blade. Still, kind of a dynamite size for EDC for me. Now then, Ergo's in hand. It's like nothing, dude. It's like holding nothing. Easy four-finger grip, small to medium-sized hands. Thumb out on that jimping. That feels great. No issues, no complaints. Like I said, super toothy, grippy jimping. I love that. I'm locked in. Um, white knuckle it, no issues at all. We we have this sharpening choil that kind of is halfway between a sharpening choil and a finger choil. It's not a finger choil. You can get your thumb way out here on the blade. It's not a huge knife, but, I mean, that's comfy. I'm here for it. Pinch grip. The blade's way too tall for me. Uh, it's like a 45, 50% of the day. It's okay. It's okay. It's not great. I wouldn't recommend it. But all in all, very comfy. For how this is meant to be used, right there, thumb on that jimping, do your cutting, close it. Uh, it's great. No issues. Now then, action on Phosphor Bronze washers, I believe. Oh. Oh, yeah. The detent is spectacular. Also, the clothes. Oh. Ho, ho. Silky smooth. Oh, yeah. This is what I loved about my original drift. The action was exceptional. Once I finally got it broken in... Oh, it was incredible. Yeah, dude, the action's perfect. I love the noises. It's so smooth on those on those washers, too. Just glass, It just glides closed. It's not a guillotine. It's like a one or a two shake. Oh. But it's smooth. And the detent's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm having a crisis. Acoustics are exceptional. A really clicky-clacky knife. So 
super clicky clacky. Uh, you're going to annoy your uh, loved ones with this one. Yeah, it's really good. Um, now, I don't know what he's done to this. You know, maybe, I don't know how long he's had it. I have to assume with action like this that it's been broken in. That he's been carrying it and using it. Also, kind of the, sh the schmutz on the blade gives that away as well. But it is Vanex Super Clean, which means it takes a great edge, holds a great edge, and is basically completely rust resistant. It's one of my favorite steels. We do have to cut something. Crazy tall flat grind on that blade. Obnoxious, like crazy thin blade stock. I'm pretty sure the bear, the tactile bear, is the thinnest blade stock in my collection. Dude, it's about the same. But it's a much taller blade, which means it should come to a much thinner final cutting edge. Let me grab you, baby. Will it cut? It, this could be a user, so, you know, it's not factory fresh, but we're going to see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, you can tell he's been using it, but that it's so thin. It's so thin, it doesn't matter, dude. Whoop, whoop. Oh, my God. I might have to get one. I might have to get one. These are not cheap. These are like three something. They are made in China somewhere. They've never announced who their OEM is, who their manufacturing partner is overseas. But um, these are like 325, 350, maybe more than that. I don't know. They're not cheap. Yeah, it cuts. He's been using it, but it cuts really well. I'm I'm really missing my quiet carry drift. I'm really missing it right now. Uh, links to quiet carry down below. Grab one for yourself. Again, future me price, 325, 350, maybe more. I don't remember. I like it. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Um Damn. It's funny, as much as I complained about my original drift, I carried it all the time. I couldn't keep that little thing out of my pocket. It was such a great little secondary carrier. If I was like going somewhere where maybe you didn't need a big scary knife i would always grab my drift i think i just needed money i'm poor sometimes you just got to make sacrifices and sometimes those sacrifices come to kick you in the ass you know anyway the large drift uh i'm here for this i'm so here for this uh links down below grab it for yourself like the video comment subscribe become a channel member patreon member if you have on instagram tiktok and threads i'm out there i will see you on the next one thank you so much for watching bye bye now